Hi, my name is Rich Sorensen. I'm a professor of family business at the University of St. Thomas in Minneapolis. Today I'd like to talk with you about a framework that non-family managers can use to work with family businesses. This is the framework. Uh, it's called the landscape of family business. The, the two there are two dimensions to this framework. There's a long-term dimension and a short-term dimension. And there is a business and a family dimension. As you'll see in the middle of this framework is, a, is governance. Uh, and the main important part of governance is that family owns and controls the business. What I, and, and you'll see here that there are four quadrants. There's the business performance quadrant, there's a strategy quadrant, there's the succession quadrant in the long run, and there's family dynamics. Those are the basic elements of family business. The way we came up with this framework was that it, it was developed at Texas Tech University. Andy looked at the research that had been done for 12 years and pulled out of that research outcome variables. There were 327 outcome variables. We helped Andy categorize those variables into 32 categories. We then took those categories and sent them out to experts in family business, had them rate the extent to which they were similar to one another, and then did an analysis that enabled us to create a map of family business. This is what the map looked like. You'll see it looks quite complex, and there are a lot of subcategories within it, but I wanted to point this out to you to show that there's some credibility in what, what I'm presenting to you today in terms of it being grounded in research. This is a simplified version of that map, and I'm going to show you how an individual, let's say you become a non-family member president in a family business. How do you manage that business when it's, it's so different than anything you may have experienced if you've only been in non-family business world. And so uh, let me just present some basic elements to you. The most important thing that a non-family president must, must understand is that the family part of the map takes up half of the, par, uh, half of the map. It's, it's very important that presidents in in family businesses understand this part of the map. Family values guide the business and the family must be satisfied with the business if they're going to support a president of a company who's running the business. And so because family has ownership and control and because their values determine what the business does, and they must be satisfied, the, the president needs to get to know the family. They need to understand what they desire, what they uh, hope to get out of the business. And one of the things that, that makes family businesses different from non-family businesses is that in terms of performance, they're not only con concerned about financial performance, but they are also concerned about something called socio-emotional outcomes. Now what that refers to is socio-emotional outcomes is that families are often really invested in their communities. They have a, a reputation in their communities. They like to see their communities develop. They've established this business relationship with them and they want to maintain that relationship. In, in other, and in addition, they have a long-term commitment often to employees and to customers and to other people with whom they have developed partnerships in the community. I, I was uh, an owner for a short time in a bank. My father worked in the bank. My grandfather started the bank. And uh, although I had very little to do with the bank when we sold it, I felt an emotional loss. I felt like something was missing because we no longer had the bank. And I, I still regret 
are not keeping it to this day. And that, that, that's a pretty common thing in, in owning families is that they become emotionally connected to the bank and its relationship to the community. And so owning family members uh, values influence this socio-emotional focus in the business and if if they're not if if the business isn't delivering on that value that is customers and employees aren't well taken care of they're going to be dissatisfied they'll be dissatisfied with you as the president and they probably won't support you as well as you would like to be supported we've talked about the family dimension there's also a long-term dimension in a family business there is really in every business but on, on the family side, what that refers to is succession. Family businesses are interested in multi-generational uh, issues. They're interested, many of them, in retaining the business for the long term. They use words like transgenerational to describe the nature of their business. And so it's very important for them and for you as the president to plan ways that you can sustain the business for the long run. And that often means, in terms of uh, planning, that the strategy not only needs to focus on business success for the long run, but it also needs to address family values. What do they want out of the business for the long run? It's very important that family members, in some way, participate in strategic planning and establishing the basic direction for the business when strategy is formed. So in that case, the, the president needs to consult with the family as strategies being developed and as strategic changes are proposed. In addition, the president may need to place emphasis on something called entrepreneurship. The reason for that is that while families have a lot of strength, sometimes one of the problems that they have is that they don't, they don't, they get satisfied with where they are and they don't think about making changes in the business for the long run. And so to help them to make those changes for the long run, it helps for the president to monitor how we're doing in terms of entrepreneurship and address entrepreneurial kinds of issues in hopes of maintaining the business for the long run because that's the basic element that's important to a family business. Regarding entrepreneurship, research has found that families who do not engage in entrepreneurship tend to lose their businesses over the long run, but those who are engaged in entrepreneurship and who value entrepreneurship tend to be successful over the long term. In the long term, also, there's this issue on the family side of succession. In, at some point, there will be a generational change, and the next generation will take over leadership and ownership in the family business. So part of your role as a president is to help keep family members and to promote keeping family members informed about the business and about opportunities that are available in the business. Uh, one of the things that often happens in many businesses is there's kind of a symbiotic relationship between family development and the business. Family members have upcoming generation, generational family members work in the business so that they can get business experience or at least exposure to the business. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that a president can do is counsel with senior level family members about how they might involve the next generation in the family business. And so uh, a president should have a good working relationship with family members who work with him in the family business. And finally, when uh, family members are hired to work in the family business, a president should oversee and uh, monitor their development in the business so that they can be successful, so that they can work with the right people in the business, so that uh, 
over time, they have a good opportunity to develop themselves in the business. In succession, I, as I mentioned, there are two things then that, that we're talking about. We're talking about in terms of leadership succession in the business and um, ownership. But one of the things that we discovered in our research is that there's one more element related to this, and, and that was professionalization. When businesses first start, an entrepreneur will create the processes and the uh, structure and so forth that, that makes sense to them and that is responsive to the marketplace. In the next generation, one of the things that's often needed is that the business needs to become more professionalized. Family members must be prepared to bring professionalization to the business. They can do that in a couple of ways. They can get education. They can go out and get um, have other opportunities to work with other businesses and bring what they learn back to the business. Well, in terms of pref professionalization, one of the things that a president could do is to counsel with family members about opportunities that are available out there, particularly in the industry that they're involved in, and help find uh, educational and position opportunities for family members who will end up working in the business. Okay, finally, uh, we come to this section in the landscape map, the governance section. In order for a president to make sure that all of these things happen, there needs to be coordinating mechanisms. As I mentioned before, uh, the, the real key element of a family business is family ownership and control. When a family owns a business, they have much more leeway in terms of doing things than do owners of publicly owned businesses. That is because they can agree on more things that are important to them. When you get a lot of, of unrelated owners investing in a, in, a, in a public company, usually the only things that they can agree on is, is uh, performance, financial performance, and the uh, way the, the company is run, the professionalization of the country company. As I mentioned, the family, on the other hand, is interested in socio-emotional outcomes, the community, employees, and so forth. And they're concerned about the long-term strategy that will sustain the family over the long run. How do you go about governing both of these elements in order to uh, be successful in the business and at the same time help the family? Um, there are some decision mechanisms, decision mechanisms that can uh, help help the president accomplish this. One of them is called a business board, and the other one is called a family council. The board helps the president make decisions and guides the president in making decisions that are responsible to both the business and to the family. This board will be a great, great tool in helping the president, you the president, govern the business. But a family council can also help a lot because when you have many family members in second and third generations, there are so many of them often, or even three or four of them, that it's difficult for them to make decisions. And so they need a mechanism to help them to make those decisions. And that mechanism is a family council. What a family council can do is it can help owners agree on what are formally our most important values. What are the policies that we want to see put in place in terms of hiring and uh, uh, hiring family members and, and providing ownership to the family. What are our general overall policies about uh, doing business, about our strategy in the long, long run? The Family Council can address all of those things, and then representatives for the Family Council can speak with one voice uh, to the president 
or to the board. Usually uh, from a family council, there are representatives on the board. And so the family council helps to bring agreement to the family and makes the job of the president much simpler than it would be otherwise. There are three other things that can help in terms of governance. Uh, one of those things is HR policy, particularly regarding hiring and family members, the qualifications that are needed to hire family members. If it's left up to the president alone to make those decisions, he can uh, alienate some family members. But if there's a policy in place that's been established by the family council, and that is consistent with the owning family, then it makes it much easier for the uh, owner to make the decisions. Another thing that really helps is uh, the, a, a business mission and goals. The mission and goals for the business, and we're talking about the family business mission and goals, but the mission needs to be aligned with family values. If it's not aligned with family values, the family will not very, be very happy with, with those goals. And so you need to, to make sure that uh, uh, the mission represents what the family is about as well as what the, the business hopes to achieve. And the final element in governance is a network. Typically, when a business uh, is established, they establish uh, relationships with partners, with business partners, with advisors, with uh, others who work closely with the business outside of, uh, outside of <clears throat> normal everyday operations. And so one thing that can happen as the business is passed from one generation to the next is that some of these relationships can be lost unless, unless they're nurtured by, uh, by an alert president who understands the importance of these network relationships and helps the new family members build relationships within those networks so that they can sustain good business relationships outside of the business going forward. So as you can see, in a family business, for a president or any other manager, uh, both the, the, the business and the family dimensions are very important. Uh, the, uh, business, the, the president in particular needs to be familiar with the, the family side of the business. They need to be familiar with the values. They need to make sure that, that the family members in general are satisfied with what, what, what's happening over here in terms of performance in the short term and strategy in the long term, in addition, uh, needs to do what he can or she can to help prepare leaders and owners for the next generation. To, to do that kind of thing, uh, they, they need to focus both on short term and long term goals. And as they pay attention to both sides of the, uh, the family side, the business side, for the short and the long term, they can be much more successful in working in a family business.